Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. Our question of the week comes from Regina Dos Reyes. She has an orange tree that she started from seeds from a friend. Once it grew, she planted the seedling in a clay pot on the northeast side of her house and it's now about three years old. But she says it's never flowered to produce oranges. Regina also notes that a neighbor's tree shades her orange most of the time and would like to know what she should do to get it to flower. We reached out to AgriLife Extension fruit specialist Monty Nesbitt for some insight, and he confirmed our suspicions that the leggy growth is partially due to the lack of sunlight, but also notes that seedling trees, as opposed to grafted ones, just naturally have a leggy growth habit. Another issue that Monty points out with the genetics of seedling citrus trees is juvenility, which is the inability of trees to flower and produce fruit before a certain age. For citrus, that can be anywhere from five to eight years, which is one reason that we graft trees. Buds from more mature trees of flowering age may be grafted onto younger rootstock and the tree will flower and produce fruit immediately. Another issue that Monty points out with this tree is the container. It's simply too small for the tree and is inhibiting root growth, which in turn will inhibit overall growth, which he says will also increase the time to maturity, thus delaying fruit production even longer. He suggests planting the tree in the ground and fertilizing regularly, making sure that the tree will receive a full day of sun in its new location, and also be sure to plant in the warmest spot of the yard where the tree can be protected from hard freezes. You could also transplant it to a much larger container. We have lots of information on growing citrus and other fruit on our Aggie Horticulture website, so check it out. Our plant this week is Warm Weather Globe Amaranth, which is simple to start from seed. You can also find them in six packs, or better yet, flats at local nurseries. Globe amaranth is stunning when planted in massive swaths, if you have the space, but resist the urge to plant each one too close together. Individual plants look small and lanky when young, but each one will fill in to about 12 to 18 inches wide and equally as tall. Globe amaranth loves the bright sun, thrives in heat, and will be covered in cheery purple globe-shaped flowers all summer long. Soil with good drainage is best, but globe amaranth will tolerate clay soil, just be sure not to overwater. The flowers will be covered with butterflies and skippers all season long. Our viewer picture comes from Nancy Donner of her passion vine, an aggressive rambler that attracts pollinators to its flowers. It's also a host plant for gulf fritillary butterflies, which lay their eggs on the leaves. The eggs eventually hatch into larval caterpillars, which may eat plants to the ground, but not to worry, passion vine will come roaring back. We'd love to hear from you. Head over to krlu.org to send us your questions, pictures, and video.